In this video, we are going to change the server host name, and I will be using Contabo for this example. If you're also using Contabo and you come here under reverse DNS management, and we are interested in this IP, you'll see that the reverse PTR record is that, and we want to change this to something else that we can use. So you should definitely use an actual domain, and the domain should be one where your panel is installed. So if you're installing a control panel like HTTP Cyber Panel, it should give the domain for where it is installed there. To change the hostname on Ubuntu or Debian, I have this post here. You can just follow this post. And I will leave the link in the description. For the control panel, I will install it in a subdomain, panel1.javascriptbear.com. I want to change my hostname to that. The panel will be installed in a subdomain. You can install it in a full domain if you want to, but I choose to use a subdomain. Come back here, and you can see this is currently the first part of our host name. So we want to change that. Let's first of all see our host name. To check your host name, you can just do host name. And that is our full host name, and we want to change it. So if you come here, you can change the host name. You'll need to edit it there. I want to change my host name to panel one dot. Panel one dot JavaScript bear dot com. So this is going to be my host name. So let's come back to the post and I just need to edit this file and change it there. So if you go into this file, we I mean this file. If you go into the host name file, we'll see that our host name is listed there and we can change it. If we come back to where we're logged into our server, make sure you've, you've logged into your server. So I'm going to paste that in there. And you can see that's our host name. So the first thing I need to do is I need to remove this and replace it with, replace it with this. So I'm going to copy this entire thing and then I can just use my cursor I'll just press delete and delete everything in there. The name of my server, I'll delete that there. And then I can paste. So if you want to if you want to paste here and I'm using git bash, you can use shift insert to paste. If you're using party, you'll just right click to paste. If you're on terminal, I think it's control shift V. So just paste the way that your command line tool will allow you. So for me, I'll do shift insert. Then I will close, I will close nano by doing control X. And then accept the changes. Y to accept the changes. And then press enter to exit out of nano. So the next thing is to change this in our hosts file. So we've changed it in the hostname. So the server knows the hostname is that, the one we've added, but we need to reflect that in the system. So to do that, we need to change something in our hosts file. So copy, paste, enter and you can see this is the one we need to change okay and we also need to change that okay so every instance of the old host name we're going to change that with the new host name and let's just come back and copy this copy the new host name and we are changing this on ubuntu but this is going to work for you even if you're on debian so let me find my cursor and i will just move my cursor to that point and let me delete this name and then I will add a space there shift insert to paste and then for this other one since I'm using a subdomain the first part of my host name will be what is here but if you're using a full domain just use the full name of your domain And then let's scroll down again for IPv6. For IPv6, let's scroll down and we're going to delete this one as well. And then we paste the new one. And uh, for this side, it will be panel one. 
So as I've said, for the part where I've put panel one, if you're not using a subdomain, just put the full domain name there as well. Okay, so that's pretty much it. So I'll do, I'll do control X, Y, enter. We need to restart the server. There we go. Now we're logged in. So now the last time we checked for the host name, it brought that. Let's see what it brings this time around. And I'm just going to clear the screen. There you go. Your host name has been changed. So that's how you can change your host name on Ubuntu, Debian, or any Linux server. But since we are on Contabo, I'm also going to need to change this inside of my Contabo dashboard. So let me come back into, and you can see as soon as we change it, it's, had, it's changed it here as well. Let's go and change it inside of Contabo as well. So here in Contabo, I will click there to edit, and I will update this one as well. Paste that. Okay, that's not the one. I will paste it in there, and then I will save. This one as well, you can change the second one for the IPv6 if you've enabled IPv6. So your reverse DNS records have been changed on Contabo and you can just add them as well on Cloudflare. So in this video, you've seen how you can change the host name for your server and I was using Ubuntu as an example, but you can do this on Debian. You can even try it on other Linux distributions. I'm sure the process should be the same. So change the host name into the domain name or the subdomain name that you're going to use for installing your control panel. Maybe you want to install cyber panel, HTCP, virtual main. You need to change the host name to match that. And that's why I was doing this. So in the next video, I'm going to install my control panel. So I will see you in that video.